Hi, it's Fitcha from Soulmate. Welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I make this kimono sleeve mermaid dress, please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload new videos, you get notified first. You will need your no dad bodies block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and a link above as well. Starting with the front body, stress around your block, making sure to mark all the notches. Lift your block. Square in your waistline. From the waist, measure down for your desired length. I'm using 90 centimeters. Put a mark. Now with your ruler, square a line down to that point. Square another line across. And finally, square another line down from your hip line. Get your curved ruler and smoothen the curve. Coming back to the waistline, we're going to extend it by 15 centimeters and put a mark. Measure 13 centimeters down at the center front and put a mark. Then we're going to widen our neckline by 2 centimeters and put another mark. With your curved ruler, join these points like I'm doing here. Go up one centimeter along this curve and put a mark. And we're going to square back to the center front with a curved ruler. This will help stop the gaping from the front neckline. Adding seam allowances to the neckline edge there one centimeter. Next, mark three spaced points like I'm doing here and mark another three along the waistline like I'm doing here as well. Connect these points with your curved ruler like I'm doing here. We're going to be using these lines to make pleats for our front bodies. So we'll be cutting through these lines and spreading them by five centimeters. Coming to the shoulder tip, we're going to raise it up by one centimeter, put a mark. Now draw a straight line connecting this point and passing through this raised point we just marked. From the shoulder tip, we're going to measure 15 centimeters for our sleeve length, put a mark. Sorry some parts are not coming out clearly, you'll be able to see it when we are drafting the back sleeve. Square a line down. Now square in your underarm line, measure from this line 10 centimeters down and put a mark, draw a straight line connecting this point to the underarm point. Now with your free hand, just draw a curve like I'm doing here. With your curve ruler, smoothen everything out. So we went down 10 centimeters and then we're going to measure this point 7 centimeters. It will help us draft the back. With your French curve, just connect a nice curve there. So we're not using this inner line anymore. and adding a hem allowance for the sleeve, one centimeter. Add the waistline, come down 1.5 centimeters at center front. This is for the waist shaping for our skirt. Now connect this point back to the side seam like I'm doing here. Now this part is going to be out. We're not going to use it for the pattern. Measure 45 centimeters down from the straight original waistline and put a mark. Square a line across using this point. Then come in by 4 centimeters from the side seam and join this point with a straight line to the hip line. Get a curve ruler and just smoothen this curve. So we came in 4 centimeters. 
at the side seam on the hemline we're going to continue this line by 15 centimeters and put a mark sorry most of this part is out of range as well so i'll put a link for the mehmet skirt part and so that you get a hang of what is really going on here now join the 4 cm point there with the 15 cm extension at the hemline with a straight line. We're going to square 5 cm up at the corner there, the hemline, and then use it to draw a nice curve back to the hem of the skirt there. Now adding a hem allowance of 1 cm, following through the curve. And the center front and center back are going to be on fold for our skirt. Now drawing in my grain line for the skirt pattern parallel to the center back and center front. So this skirt pattern is going to work as both our front and back skirt pattern and we're cutting one of each on fold and labeling the front bodies front bodies cut one pair and I put my initial then cutting around the pattern Get a fresh pattern paper and we're going to add a joining seam allowance for our waistline there, one centimeter. Cut around the pattern. Adding notches to the pattern. And our skirt pattern is finished. Now moving on to finishing our front bodies. Now cut through these lines too, but not through the edges on the part and uh, leave them hanging. Now to be able to pivot the other two points open, we need to cut through to the point, but not through it, so that we'll be able to pivot it nicely. Get a fresh pattern paper and put your pattern on top of it. And we're going to be spreading these points by five centimeters. You don't need to measure anything, just estimate. Open everything and tape everything down nicely. For the last one, we'll have an overlap at the sleeve, the little overlap. It won't make much difference to our sleeve. Now get your curved ruler and just blend everything together. Adding notches to the pattern so that we'll be able to fold this place down nicely. Our pleats are going to be folded down in this direction. Now adding a joining seam allowance to the waistline as well, one centimeter. And using the existing underarm line, we're going to square in our grain line and cutting around the pattern. Our front bodies is finished. Now we're moving on to drafting the back bodies. Trace around your block to the waistline. Lift your block. Square in your waistline. Lower the neckline at the center back by two centimeters and widen your neckline by two centimeters as well. Join these two points with a nice curve. Now adding a one centimeter seam allowance at the neckline. Raise the shoulder tip up by one centimeter, put a mark. Now draw a straight line joining this point to the neckline and extend it a bit further. Now square in your underarm line. Measure 10 centimeters down from this line like we did with the front. 
join the underarm to this point with a straight line. Now remember the 7 centimeters we measured here, we're going to measure down 7 centimeters from the underarm point there. Square a little line up and go 1 centimeter further for the hem allowance. Measuring 15 centimeters for our sleeve length and just add 1 centimeter for the hem allowance as well. With your free hand, just draw a nice calf and finish off with your calf ruler, like I'm doing here, and draw in your hem allowance as well. With your French calf, draw a nice calf here. So seven centimeters and 15 centimeters and up one centimeter. Adding a joining seam allowance to the waistline, one centimeter. Drawing in my grain line parallel to the center back. Our center back is going to be on fold in this pattern. And labeling the pattern, back bodies. Cut one on fold. And I put my initial. Cut around your pattern. And our back bodies pattern is finished as well. Now all our patterns are finished. Now moving on to sewing. Now moving on to sewing. So what you need are your completed patterns, your fabric and your cutting tools. For the fabric, I'm using this navy blue scuba fabric, okay? So now let's start cutting our fabrics. On your front pattern, make sure to outline this center front notch here. It's very important when it comes to sewing. So all our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew. So first we're going to take our two front pieces. So first we're going to go ahead and fold our pleats for the front patterns. Do it for both, following the notches that we put along the edge here. Now take this to the sewing machine and just stitch the pleats down for both sides with the regular stitch on our sewing machine and make sure to back check at the beginning and at the end. And this should be within your seam allowance. Since I'm gonna be using a sedger, I'll make sure that this will be five millimeters. Okay, so that's done for both pieces. Now we're gonna get our back piece and we're gonna lay it down on the table with the right side facing up. Get your front pieces and lay them on top of it with the right side facing down. So now we're going to pin along the side seams and the shoulder seams. I'm going to be using my sedger to sew this. So I'm going to go to the sedger and sew along the side seams and the shoulder seams. If you don't have a sedger, just use a zigzag stitch for both the side seams and the shoulder seams. Let's do that. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and hem the sleeves and just finish off this edge here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just overlock right round and just turn it under and just do a top stitch from the right side. Do the same with this one, overlock right round, turn it under one centimeter and stitch at the top here. Then we're gonna do the same as well all along this whole area. We're going to overlock 
all along and then we're just gonna turn it under one centimeter and just do a top stitch all the way around let's go and do that okay so i've done that and i also went ahead and gave it a nice press and i pressed down my pleats as well so now we're going to match our center front notches making sure that you put in the right side on top like this match the notches and pin along Okay, now I'll take this to the sewing machine and just attach the overlapped part with a 0.5 centimeter seam allowance and use a zigzag stitch for it. Okay, whilst we're there, we're going to take both our skirt pieces and we're going to lay them one on top of the other, right side facing, pin along the side seams. So we're going to take this to the serger again and just sew along the side seams for both ends. If you're using the sewing machine, just make sure to continue using the zigzag stitch because we want this to continue stretching. And then when we finish, we're going to hem our skirt as well. So just overlock right round and just turn it under one centimeter and do a top stitch. Okay, let's go and do all that now okay now so we finished sewing the skirt we sewed the side seams and we also went ahead and hemmed the skirt it's looking nice and neat then for the top we also went ahead and attached the front part here so now get your top lay it on the table with the wrong side up and get your skirt piece and turn it to the right side now we're going to get our skirt and just put it through our top like this from the neckline. Match the side seam of the skirt to the side seam of the top and making sure that our seams are turned to the opposite sides to avoid bulk. And just pin along. Now pin along the whole waistline. Okay, now we're gonna take this to the sedge and sedge along the waistline. Make sure to take your time this time because we've got a few layers of fabric at the front here. If you are using a sewing machine, Make sure to continue using the zigzag stitch again. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now so I'm finished sewing the dress and I'm happy with the result. Thank you.